Ever tried making a t-shirt mock-up in Illustrator only to end up with a hot mess? Maybe your sleeves look like spaghetti or your neckline is all wrong. Or worst of all, Illustrator's tools just refuse to cooperate? Yeah, we've all been there. But don't worry because in this video, I'm breaking down my process into five easy steps. By the end of this video, you'll have a clean professional vector t-shirt mock-up that actually looks good and is easy to edit for all your designs. If you're sick and tired of feeling frustrated and just want pro-level mock-ups without the headaches, don't trip, I got you. I just dropped my streetwear starter pack which comes with 20 high quality vector mock-ups that'll seriously speed up your workflow. This pack has everything you need to hit the ground running. Each mock-up is built with simplicity in mind, making it perfect for beginners while still delivering pro-level quality. And with AI and PNG formats, you get full flexibility across any design software. But here's what sets this pack apart. Every mock-up includes not only the front and back views, it also has the side views too. So you got every angle covered to bring your vision to life. Hit the link in the description and take your designs to the next level. Now let's get jiggy. My last step-by-step -step video on making a t-shirt vector mock-up got a lot of love, but also a ton of questions. It seems like some of you got stuck on certain steps, so consider this your follow-up fix. I'm breaking it down again, but this time faster and more to the point. So stay locked in, cause you don't want to miss a step. First things first, grab some reference images of the t-shirt style you want to turn into a vector mockup. For this example, I'm making an oversized t-shirt. So I'm going to hop onto Google and search for oversized t-shirt. Jump into the images tab and filter by large under the size drop-down menu. This pulls up high-res images that'll give you the best detail to work with. Once you find a t-shirt that fits your vibe, copy it over to Illustrator. Since I'm creating both front and back mockups, I went ahead and grabbed images from both angles to keep things accurate. Once you've pasted your t-shirt images, it's time to resize the artboard so everything fits into place. Head up to the control panel, click on document setup, and edit artboards. Find the drop down where it says custom, and select fit to artwork bounds. At this point, your artboard instantly snaps to the edges of your images, keeping everything perfectly framed and organized. Next, let's drop the opacity of your images to make tracing easier. Head up to the control panel, find the opacity setting, and click and drag the slider down to around 50%. This keeps your reference visible without getting in the way while you're outlining your mockup. Now let's lock the images in place so they don't shift around while you're tracing. Now go down here and create a new layer. Head over to the tools panel and select the pen tool. You can also hit P on your keyboard to activate the pen tool. Now we're going to start by laying down a center line down the front of the t-shirt. To do this, pull up a guideline by clicking and dragging from the left side of the ruler and moving it to the center of the t-shirt. If you don't see your rulers, just hit Command R on Mac or Control R on Windows to turn them on. Now you've got your perfect starting point. To keep things simple and symmetrical, we're going to work in halves. Let's start by outlining the t-shirt. To keep your line straight, hold down the shift key as you click to add each point. This locks everything into place. Once you got the basic outline, we'll move on to the collar and sleeves. Now that we finish one side, let's copy it over to the right side for perfect symmetry. With the selection tool active, click and drag a box around the lines you just created. Hit Command C on Mac or Control C on Windows to copy it, and press O to activate the reflect tool. Position your cursor at the center line. Hold down the Option key on Mac or Alt key on Windows and click on that center line to bring up the reflect dialog box. Make sure the vertical axis is selected, then hit copy. Now you've got an identical mirrored side to match your mock-up. We got both sides done, now it's time to bring them together. This part could get a little tricky, but with some practice, you'll get the hang of it. Select both halves and grab the join tool. Simply scribble over the area where the two lines meet and it should merge the pieces together. This will merge the two halves into one solid shape. You can repeat the same steps for the other parts you want to join together. If you're still running into issues or it's just not coming together, try selecting both parts and hitting Command J on Mac or Control J on Windows. Next, let's clean up those curves. Grab the anchor point tool by hitting Shift C. Now click on the center point of your line and it should snap into a V shape. If it doesn't happen, try clicking on the endpoints instead. Once you got the V shape, click the center point and drag outwards while holding shift to create a smooth curve. 
Repeat the process to the rest of the collar and you have those curves looking cleaner than a pair of fresh Air Force Ones. At this point, you're pretty much done and have a solid mock-up to work with. So what if you want to create a backside to your mock-up? Stick around and I'll show you a quick and easy way to do it. Start by copying the front side and pasting it over to the backside reference image. If you ever notice your line sticking out like this, don't sweat it, just trim the excess. Select the area with the stray lines and hit Shift M to activate the Shape Builder tool. Hold down the Option key on Mac or Alt key on Windows and click on the points you want to get rid of. Now it's looking good. Now let's get rid of some of the lines to transform it into the backside. Click on the Selection tool and delete the lines you don't need. Now let's drop a guideline down the center, just like how we did on the front side. Using the direct selection tool, click on the right side of the line and hit delete. Just like the front side, we're going to be working in halves. Grab those endpoints and drag them into place until you've got the shape you want. Now copy the shape by hitting Command C on Mac or Control C on Windows, then press O to activate the reflect tool. Position your cursor on the center line. Hold down the Option key or Alt key and click on the center line to bring up the Reflect dialog box. Make sure vertical axis is selected and hit Copy. And finally, select both parts and hit Command J to join them. Now you have a front and back view of a t-shirt in vector form. And there you go, a clean professional t-shirt mockup that you can reuse, edit, and make your design shine. If this video helped you out, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and tap that notification bell so you don't miss out on future content. Now that you know how to make vector mockups, the real challenge is bringing your ideas to life. So in this next video, I'll show you exactly how to turn those ideas into physical pieces. So keep it locked and I'll catch you in the next one. Design Beyond Boundaries. Peace.